You're now tuned in to a girl on the hip com. I'm your host on Radio Shay. Now joining us is This is TJ, uh one fourth of the Goonies. I'm also known as Saki. All right, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for thank you for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. All right, no problem. Since um now we know you're a produ- you're a producer and everything, let's start off with your influences. So what influenced you to be a producer? Uh what really influenced me just was a lot of the nineties R and B when I was coming up. My mom didn't really let me listen to a lot of rap. I had to go to like my cousin's house to listen to rap music. So when I was in the car with my mom, we had like a station here called one oh seven. And it just played all the old school songs. So I would listen to a lot of Luther, a lot of the Isley Brothers, R. Kelly, um, Joe to see Cisco. But as far as the producers, because um, they sample a lot. So that's, and I'm a sample based producer. Um, I like Kanye, Dr. Dre, um, uh, Devontae, Timberland. Well, Timberland don't really sample like that, but. So I would have to say those are my the producers who really influenced my sound. Okay. So um what do you use? You say you're you a sample, you use samples in your production. Right, right. So what right. do you and use? I, um, I use what? the software I use is FL, Fruity Loops. Um and then as I just grew as growing as a producer, I am starting to get into having like uh instrumental display over or replay a sample for me or replay a loop for me. And then I just chop it like that. Um, Cause like when you learn more about the business, they saying that the samples is getting harder and harder to clear. So I'd rather just uh, train myself now to learn how to use my resources and what I know. Cause I don't know, I can read music, but I don't know how to play no type of instrument. So okay. I just, I use my all the resources I can. Okay, so if you were okay, that's interesting. So it's interesting. So if you were to put like a sound on your on your style, what would it be? Uh, honestly, I have to say what a sound like what me and my me and the group that I produce with have uh, started kind of creating. It's kind of like, it's it's kind of dark, but but at the same, but it's sample based and it's us. It's, it's like, um, it's those, it's, it's like the music is, when you listen to the beats, um, it's for like kids who, who were the, the who felt like they just, were the outcast. Like, I mean, even though I hoped, I still kind of felt like I was just a little different. I don't know. I just seen things a little different. I viewed things a little different. So, yeah, I was kind of popular, but it still didn't fit me. I wasn't comfortable with it like that. So, I can't really match it up to nobody because I honestly, it doesn't sound like um, the main sound we have doesn't really sound like anything that's really out. That's why I like Sometimes we have a hard time, like, pushing to other artists because they, I feel like a lot of artists are scared to venture out. Granted, we do make what artists want to hear, I mean, what people want to hear, but when we, once we get that chance to really push our sound, it's going to, I think it's going to make a, it's going to have a little way to it. Okay, so you would say it's unique. It stands, it stands yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, so tell me about your um, production team, the Goonies. Yes, uh, it's four of okay, yeah. uh, Like we are, we had a mutual friend who uh, he went to jail, uh, and we all had just started producing around the same time. But we was all doing it like uh, on some solo things and. Somehow he just heard four different sounds and he just, I don't know, he, he called us all one day and just was like, man, I think all four of y'all together can do something. Like, all y'all got four different types of sounds. So we was like, all right, cool, we'll link up one day. So one day we just all got together and 
We've been in a family ever since. Oh, okay. So who's in the group? Can you yeah, uh, give us the me, name of the members? It's me, uh, Sachi. Um, we got Goof, the bass guy. We got Drizzy. Uh, then we got my homie, Tez. And everybody do their own thing. Like, I really come with, like, the dark, like, 3-6 Mafia-type samples. Um, Dre, he, he comes with the more uh, the old-school Kanye-type samples. And, base, and, and Goof, I promise you, I ain't never heard nobody 808 harder than his. <laughs> I promise you. And then Tez just, he, he, he nice with the keys. So, when you put off all different types of sounds together is something special. Okay. So, um, who have you worked? Name some, name some of the artists that you've worked with. Um, probably uh, artists that people probably know, uh, Rico Richie. Um, got a song with Frank Billionaire. I don't know if a lot of people know him. He's from Philly. Um, and then from our area, we got uh, an R&B singer named Macy. She's she's real dope. Uh, she got a big fan base in the Kansas City area. Um, we worked with Bucks. He's an artist from around here. We worked with AL. I'm trying to think who else. Uh, because it's a lot of. I mean, a lot of local artists as well. Like we and locally, we try to be everywhere. Like I try to. My goal is to be like Gucci. How Gucci rolls in the city, like he just flood his area. That's how I felt like as production team, we can do that. Like as long as we not producing nothing that's that's trash and people don't want to hear, I feel like you can you can flood the game. Like so, that's what we try to do locally. But right now, it's just. I, it's time to grow. It's time to get places. So that's what we on for us right now. Okay. So you spoke about some of the, the struggle that you have getting placement. Is there anything else right. you want to share with me in, in regards to that? Can you say that again? As far as, you know, getting your music out to different artists. Uh-huh. You know, what, is there anything you want to share with me in regards to doing that? I mean, what do you do when, as far as, what lanes do you take when you... Uh-huh. When you um, prepare to, you know, share your music or to give right. your your beats to artists, what lanes do you take? Oh, uh, because uh, right, I've only been producing for four years, so, and it's not like I got like a big homie or anything like that that I ask questions to. So a lot of my stuff would just be trial and error. So I just I see some, so I will plan it, then I will just try to attack. It. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I use a lot of the internet. Then recently, I just moved from Kansas City to St. Louis to try to hit a different market. Um, I get in deep battles. Uh, what else? I, I send my email, send music to a lot of blogs. Uh, I try to do uh, what else? I, uh, I make little, like three sample song CDs, and I just pass them out. When I'm in the mall, sometimes just to have people just take a listen. Okay. Right. Okay. So. Okay. So that's your hustle. I just want to know how, yeah, basically, yeah. how uh, you got your grind on. Okay. Yeah. That was, okay. That pretty much answered it. Okay. So, Mason, you did a, a few tracks on there, or you guys did a few tracks on there for yes. our album. I think it's Warning Signs of True Love. Yes. What tracks did you do on that? We did tracks four through seven. So, four through uh, seven. Okay. Uh, Black Girl Lullaby, Sunshine, Maybe, and uh, Ridiculous Freestyle. Okay. All right. So, all right, that's interesting. That's cool. So, um, when people listen to your music, what do you want them to feel? What would be the overall feeling that you want to give people when they hear your music? Just a happy feeling, uh, like to feel, to feel like you've got some hope, to feel this, this positive energy. 
I just feel like right now, like I was placed here to, to help heal. So that's what I try to do with my music. Like one of my goals is one day just be somewhere and somebody drop a tear off of something I done produced. Like, I just think that will be the craziest feeling to see just somebody really just feeling my music. Okay. I just hope to spread positivity through the world with it. Okay. So, um, do you have any anybody in particular you would really want desire to work with? Um, all the young artists right now. Travis Scott, definitely. Um, I got a track. Honestly, if I really got a track with Kid Cudi, I think I might just not even produce rap music no more. I think I just, I feel like I hit my goal um, in the rap world, and then I just do R&B forever. I wish I could get some like the, the Osley Brothers or just, if I could get a track with Jodeci too, I think that'd be dope. But, yeah, besides them, besides all the young artists, I, I want to just continue pushing the wave. Um, just now, you took it way all, back with that one. You said yeah, the yeah. Ice Brothers and <laughs> Yeah, that was yeah. Just way back. Yeah, so, like, I mean, you know, they ain't really, I, they like, man, look, I'm, I'm be cool. So, yeah, besides them, I do the, I really like to work with a lot of the young artists. Okay. Do you have anything new coming out now? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we got a song with Macy coming out on the 31st. Uh, on the 20th, we got an EP with an artist that we like uh, trying to build a real foundation with. His name is Devon Morning. We got an EP coming with him. We got an a EP coming in. I mean, a couple mixtapes were on with Bucks and AL in February, and then I'm going to be dropping, a, like, a, a movie score. But it's a beat tape, but I'm trying to make it sound like a, a soundtrack to a movie. Uh, I don't really have a release date yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I get all the details for it. Okay. So, yeah, all year long, we just trying to stay busy. Busy year for Okay, so what's the song with Macy called that you drop in? It's called Anxious. I, yeah, okay. I think it's called Anxious. She ain't really, she just told us a little bit. She ain't really gave us too many details either on it. So, she trying to hit everybody with a surprise, I guess. Okay. So, All yeah, right. be on so, the lookout um, for Anxious. All right, that's that's what's up. Okay, do you have anything else you want to add? Do you want to definitely let us know what your social platforms are so we know where to, you know, when you drop us something new that we can, you know, catch it? Right, right. All right. You can follow the Goonies on all social medias, T-H-A-G-O-O-N-E-Z. Um, that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at TJ Wynn, Twitter at T Sachi S A C H S A C H H I. Um, you can follow, and yeah, that's it. Basically, you follow the just follow the Goonies, and every day we, if you follow the Goonies, you'll see everybody's name in the bio. Um, Cause everybody be changing their name and stuff, so I don't really know what it is at the time. So you can. Find us there. Um, we always posting the newest stuff. Uh, we keep our fans updated with everything. So, but we try to. Okay. Yeah. Right, is there anything else you want to add? I ain't really got nothing to add. Just we again. I appreciate the interview. All right. No problem. We appreciate you taking it. Nah, no problem. No problem look at all. To just, uh, just looking forward to dealing with you all. All right, we'll do that. And we'll uh, make sure we follow you on your social media platforms as well. All right, appreciate it. All right, no problem.